Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I just wanted to do a quick video on this motor. It's a uh, double reduction motor out of the junk box. I put together, got it running, and uh, the E-unit was completely dead. And the coil is open. So there was no way to uh, get the E-unit going, so I just bypassed it. And of course, I'm not sure what this was originally out of. Uh, it has a... Uh, front crossbar out of a Canadian Pacific, as you see. Same as the 999, but there's no holes for front truck. However, it's got the uh, power strip on the side, uh, like it came out of a 666 or 1666. Anyway, it was in the junk box, so not really sure. Anyway, there was no provision for a light bulb. So anyway, I've done the bypass on the E unit, but there was no provision for a headlight. So I wanted to show you a really interesting trick to be able to mount a uh, light bulb on the front of the motor using the existing connections. So what you do is you take a uh, clothespin, take it apart, spring-loaded standard clothespin, and if you notice, it has this cutout in it right there where it fits over the uh, clothesline. So you just cut this thing off, and it gives you a perfect place to mount a bulb. As you see, it holds it actually quite securely. And then you have the option. You can either epoxy it in place. In this case, I didn't even bother epoxying it. I just uh, put the uh, bulb on it, used two strands of that telephone wire, wrapped it around, twisted it, soldered it there right to the existing power strip. That's providing power. And then I just ran a wire for ground. Anyway, it is uh, made basically out of parts and a bypassed E unit, so it only runs forward. So what I'm going to do, since it has this front crossbar, let me go grab this. I've got a repainted 999 shell, as you see. It actually looks quite good. So we're going to put this double reduction motor with this fabricated headlight in this 9999, or this 99 shell. Now the nice thing about this is this... Uh, Crossbar, of course, is made for a Canadian Pacific, so it will also fit the 999. So, put some screws in this, and you have an instant running locomotive made completely out of junk parts. Now, it's not correct. Uh, if you have a Canadian Pacific shell, that's great. I don't have one. Not a complete one, anyway. And there you have a 999 made completely out of parts. I'm going to have to make a uh, lens for it out of clear epoxy. And uh, this motor was missing the contactor. So I uh, put a contactor on it and uh, went through and found a spring. So this should actually run all right. So let's pull the uh, camera off the tripod, get this out of the way. We'll put this on the consist on the outside rail. Uh, I'm running this on AC now. So, let's see how this works. Power is on. Let's take this around. A Mark's 999 made out of junk parts. So, it runs forward only, but as you see, it runs. It actually runs quite well. Anyway, trying to stay busy going to be quarantined here for the next couple of weeks so uh, just going through the junk box looking for stuff that I can uh, work on take it apart and uh, build stuff so I had the 999 shell that I repainted some time ago pulled this motor out got it running and as you see that actually isn't running too bad like I said it runs forward only but it runs a double reduction motor made entirely out of junk, really. Uh, the motor was actually in fairly decent condition. The E unit was just gone. So anyway, double reduction motor, put that headlight in there. As you can see, it's up and running. And even though that headlight's not in a socket, they very rarely burn out. I mean, that's a new bulb. That's actually a Menards bulb. So as you see, it gives you a running locomotive. It's far from perfect. It's... Uh, Missing the front truck, missing the rear truck. Actually, the uh, 
front crossbar was out of a Canadian Pacific. It has no provision for a front truck. But as you see, this actually doesn't look too bad. And the nice thing about it, of course, is it runs. It has a working headlight. It runs forward only, but it runs. That's the neat thing about it. So another locomotive made entirely out of junk parts. You know, it's far from perfect. It's an old noisy motor, as you can hear. But it gave me a new locomotive where I didn't have one. You know, always uh, keep stuff that doesn't work. In this case, just going through the junk box tonight, looking for something to build. And uh, found this motor, didn't run, and uh, had that uh, crossbar on it. Like I said, it's out of a Canadian Pacific because it has no provision for a front truck. So it's not a 999 motor, and it definitely does not have 999 side rods. These side rods appear to be from a 666 or a 1666. So wherever I got this motor from, I have no idea. It was just in the parts box. And it was missing the contactor, like I said. Put a contactor on it, um, jury rigged a headlight, and it is up and running. Like I said, it's far from perfect, but it's running. That's the neat thing about it. Runs forward only, but it looks nice, and it costs nothing. Made completely out of junk parts. An old motor that didn't run, a, a repainted 999 shell. That was the uh, only option I had, or uh, change the front crossbar and put it in a 400 or a 490 shell. But it's always nicer to have a metal locomotive than a plastic one, in my opinion, anyway. So, gave me something to do. It worked. It's simple. It's easy to do it. And uh, this thing was dead, and it would not run. Uh, the only option, if the E-unit is completely dead, this one has an open coil. So the only option you have is to completely gut the motor and pull the E-unit out and replace it. Well, I'm not a fan of the E-unit, uh, even when they do work. So in this case, it was easier just to bypass the E-unit. And of course, then there was no headlight, no provision for a headlight. So that uh, quick trick with the uh, uh, clothespin, it really works. And it only takes a minute to do it. And like I said, that's a new light bulb, so it'll virtually run the rest of my life. But as you see, it gives you a running locomotive where you had a couple of uh, junk parts before this. It's simple to do, it's easy, it's straightforward, really only took a minute. So it's running well, no doubt about that. So a Marks 999 made completely out of junk parts. Is it perfect? Nope, sure isn't. Far from it. It's an old repainted 999 shell. And this old motor that uh, was completely dead, missing the contactor and the uh, E-unit coil is uh, open. So there's no way to get this running. And it's just, unless you want to gut it, completely disassemble this motor, pull the wheels off, split the case, remove the E-unit, and replace it. And there was no way to fix this one unless you want to start rewinding coils. Well, I'm not going to do that. I, there's very few people who would. But uh, it's a mismatched motor with a mismatched uh, front crossbar. It has a jury-rigged headlight. But the thing is, it's up and running. Like I said, looking at this, it was originally out of a 1666 or a 666 uh, by the uh, push rods themselves. So in any case, it's got a... Uh, Canadian Pacific uh, front crossbar. It has a jury-rigged headlight, and then uh, the whole thing dropped into a 999 shell. The thing is, it's a running 999, so a new locomotive made virtually out of junk parts, as you see. Like I said, it gave me something to do and gives them uh, good use for these parts. Anyway, like I said, I'm quarantined here for the next couple of weeks. I'm stocked up on everything. We're not going out anywhere. So, in any case, I just want to do a quick video of uh, assembling one of these motors and, of course, that uh, modification to be able to put a, uh, a headlight in a uh, motor that doesn't have a provision for one. It's really simple. It only took a minute. And uh, it works. That's the neat thing about it. And uh, if I ever find a Canadian Pacific, I'll just uh, drop this motor into that. That'll free up this shell. Anyway, 
uh, a Marks 999 that's been repainted, as you see, and assembled with a, uh, a double reduction motor and a mismatched front crossbar. But it's up and running. That's the neat thing about it. That's why I always stress, don't overlook the junk. Just because something's junk when you get it, doesn't mean it's going to be junk when you're finished with it. In this case, I have a decent looking and good running Marks 999 made completely out of parts. As you see. Like I said, it's far from perfect, but I have a uh, another Marks 999 where I did not have this one about 20 minutes ago. It's really, really easy to do these things. So just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.